Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Revision. Now let us read about high yield updated CNS LMRPs, pharmacology. Naloxin is the drug of choice for acute opioid poisoning. Naltrexone is used as a maintenance drug for opioid poisoning and to prevent relapse after opioid de-addiction. Naltrexone is used to decrease craving in chronic alcoholics. Naltrexone plus bupropion has recently been approved for treatment of obesity. Naloxone is used in neonatal resuscitation to reverse the effects of opioids if used during labor. Lorazepam is the drug of choice for status epilepticus. Diazepam is the drug of choice for febrile convulsions. Valproic acid is the drug of choice for GTCS also known as grand mal epilepsy. Gabapentin is the drug of choice for post-herpetic neuralgia and diabetic neuropathy. Methadone is used as maintenance therapy in opioid dependence, whereas naltrexone is used as maintenance therapy in opioid poisoning. Flumazenil is the drug of choice for benzodiazepine poisoning. Duration of action of flumazenil is 30 to 60 minutes. Flumazenil is a specific antagonist of benzodiazepine receptor and thus can be used to treat benzodiazepine poisoning but not for barbiturate poisoning. Donepezil is the drug of choice for Alzheimer's dementia. Reluzol is the drug of choice for amyotropic lateral sclerosis. Short-acting benzodiazepines include oxazepam, triazolam, lorazepam and estazolam. Barbiturates precipitate acute attack of AIP by induction of allosynthase. Rate-limiting enzyme in porphyrin synthesis. Benzodiazepines act on benzodiazepine receptors of GABA, A, benzodiazepine receptor, chloride channel complex and increase the frequency of chloride channel opening GABA facilitatory action. GABA is the principal inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain and glycine is the inhibitory amino acid in the spinal cord. Zolpidem, Zaleplon and Zapiclone are agonists at benzodiazepine receptors and have negligible effect on REM sleep and do not affect sleep architecture. Triazolam is a very potent benzodiazepine with ultra-rapid elimination. Barbiturates and salicylates are maximally absorbed in stomach because these are weakly acidic and do not ionize in stomach. Methylprednisolone pulse therapy is the treatment of choice for acute attacks of multiple sclerosis. Interferon beta and glatiramer is the treatment of choice for reducing recurrences in relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. Natalizumab is the treatment of choice for resistant cases of multiple sclerosis. Ganaxolone is a neurosteroid effective for absent seizures, infantile spasms and catamenial epilepsy. Topiramate and zonisamide are implicated in causing renal stones. Phenothiazines and other D2 blockers that can cross blood-brain barrier interfere with therapeutic actions of levodopa. Carbidopa can decrease all the adverse effects of levodopa except involuntary movements and behavioral side effects. Morphine is contraindicated in extremes of age, that is, very young and elderly persons, as well as bronchial asthma or any conditions prone to respiratory depression. Disulfiram inhibits the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase, which causes oxidation of aldehyde. Most antipsychotics cause weight gain due to their antagonistic action on H1 and 5-HT2C receptors. Pramipexol and Ropinarol are newer non-ergot dopamine agonist and first choice drugs for the treatment of Parkinsonism. Reserpine inhibits the vesicular transport of dopamine, serotonin and adrenaline. Pyridoxine is a cofactor for dopa decarboxylase and thus vitamin B complex can stimulate the activity of this enzyme. Pyridoxine abolishes therapeutic effect of levodopa by enhancing peripheral decarboxylation of levodopa. 
knee jerk patella reflex starts diminishing at plasma magnesium concentration of 4 milli equivalents per liter and disappears at 10 milli equivalents per liter therapeutic plasma level for phenytoin is 10 to 20 microgram per liter Ethosuximide is a narrow spectrum anti epileptic drug mainly used for absent seizures. Carbamazepine is the drug of choice for trigeminal neuralgia and focal seizures. Diplopia and ataxia are the most common dose related adverse effects of carbamazepine. Carbamazepine causes idiosyncratic blood dyscrasias, which leads to aplastic anemia and agranulocytosis. Felbamate is an NMDA blocker that is used in drug resistant epilepsies. Tiagaben is the GABA uptake inhibitor and used as an adjunct in treatment of partial seizures. Lacosamide has a dual mode of action by blocking sodium channels and CRMP2. Adverse effects of rapid IV infusion of phosphenitoin include cardiac arrhythmias and cerebellar involvement. SJS and 10 are rare side effects of lamotrigine. Central anticholinergics like trihexyphenidyl are the only drugs effective in drug-induced Parkinsonism. Carbamazepine and phenytoin are contraindicated in myoclonic epilepsy. Carbamazepine and oxcarbamazepine have similar efficacies, but oxcarbamazepine is preferred due to fewer drug interactions and lesser side effects. Rotigotin is a non-ergodopamine agonist indicated for the treatment of Parkinson's disease and restless leg syndrome. Penicillamine is the most potent chelating agent useful in Wilson's disease. Triantin causes fewer, side, fewer adverse effects than penicillamine except for mild IDA. L-DOPA is a prodrug that acts by conversion to dopamine in the brain. Valproic acid, carbamazepine, oxcarbamazepine, gabapentin and vigabatrin cause weight gain while topiramate, felbamate and zonisamide causes weight loss. Gabapentin acts by increasing the release of GABA from presynaptic neuron. Tiagabin inhibits reuptake of GABA. Carbamazepine and phenytoin inhibit sodium channels and prolongs the inactivated state. Phenytoin follows zero-order kinetics at high plasma concentration due to saturation of metabolic pathways. Sodium valproate is contraindicated in children less than 3 years due to risk of hepatitis. Phenytoin and carbamazepine act by affecting neuronal sodium channels while ethosuximide acts by affecting T-type calcium currents. Most AADs acts as enzyme inducers except valproate which acts as enzyme inhibitor. Side effects of valproate include tremors, alopecia, obesity, hepatotoxicity, acute pancreatitis and hyperammonemia. Major adverse effect of clozapine is agranulocytosis, hematoxics and seizures. Ziprasidin causes QT prolongation leading to torsa de pondus. Chlorpromazine is a typical antipsychotic D2 blocker with anticholinergic and alpha blocking properties. Bispirone is a 5-HT1A agonist and is a non-sedative anti-anxiety drug. MAO inhibitors like phenylzin inhibit the major metabolic pathway. Therefore, minor pathway is activated leading to generation of norpethidine that can cause seizures. Retinal degeneration and corneal and lenticular opacities are the adverse effects of most common associated with thyroidazine. Chlorpromazine is most commonly used drug for intractable hiccups. SSRIs are drug of choice for depression, sustained treatments of panic disorder and uh, Generalized anxiety disorder, OCD, PTSD, social and other phobias and bulimia. Therapeutic plasma concentration of lithium for acute therapy is 0.1 to 1.5 milli equivalents per liter. Whereas for profile access, its concentration should be maintained at 0.6 to 0.1 milli equivalents per liter. This is this year's, uh, year, this year's INISET 2022 question. 
Lamotrigine is specifically indicated for depressive phase of bipolar disorder. Clozapine is an atypical neuroleptic with least extrapyramidal side effects among all antipsychotics. SSRIs are preferred over TCS because of severe adverse effect profile of TCS. Central anticholinergics are contraindicated in the setting of tardive dyskinesia characterized by orobuccal lingual dyskinesia. Head injury is an absolute contraindication to morphine use. Sufentanil has maximum plasma protein binding among opioids. Ethanol and fomipazole bind to alcohol dehydrogenase with higher affinity than ethylene glycol and blocks the production of toxic metabolites due to ethanol and methylene glycol poisoning respectively. Ondansetron is a 5-H3 antagonist that is highly effective in the treatment of cisplatin-induced chemotherapy, better so than metlopromide. Apripetent is the first available substance P antagonist used for the prevention of both sudden and delayed chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Diphenoxalate is a morphine analog used to treat diarrhea. Lansoprazole is an H1 K1 ATPase useful in the treatment of patients who have failed histamine H2 blocker therapy and patients with ZDS. Metlopromide is a prokinetic agent used in the treatment of diabetic gastroparesis. Octreotide is used in the treatment of endocrine tumors such as gastrinomas, glucagonomas and VIPomas to help elevate the diarrhea. Bismuth subsalicylate is effective for both the treatment and prophylaxis of travelers' diarrhea, most often due to E. coli contaminated water. Sucralfate is an ulcer protective agent that forms a coating over the ulcer base after polymerization. Sucralfate polymerizes only at acidic pH. Most effective agents for inhibiting acid secretion and treatment of gastric as well as duodenal ulcers are PPIs. Colloidal bismuth substrate dislodges Helicobacter pyroli from the surface of gastric mucosa. Magnesium hydroxide has a quick onset whereas aluminium hydroxide acts for a long time. Magnesium salts cause osmotic diarrhea whereas aluminium salts cause constipation and so their combination is used to minimize the impact on bowel movements. Promethazine is a first generation antihistaminic which has maximum penetration of blood brain barrier and maximum anticholinergic activity and can be used for antiemetic and anti parkinsonic drug. Cisapride should not be combined with microsomal enzyme inhibitors. Ondansetron blocks the depolarizing action of serotonin through 5-HT3 receptor on vagal efferents in the gut as well as in NTS and CTZ. Metlopromide and domperidone act by blocking D2 receptors but metlopromide can cross blood-brain barrier whereas domperidone cannot. Levodopa induced vomiting is due to stimulation of D2 receptors in CTZ whereas its anti-Parkinsonic action is due to agonistic action on D2 receptors in the nigrostriatal pathway. Lubiprostin acts by stimulating chloride channel opening in the intestine, increasing liquid secretion in gut and decreasing transit time and is thus used for chronic constipation and constipation dominant IBS. Lactulose is degraded to lactic acid that converts NH3 to NH4. Corticosteroids are the mainstay of treatment of acute exacerbation of ulcerative colitis. Stimulant purgatives are contraindicated in pregnancy and intestinal obstruction. Phenophthalin and castor oil are stimulant purgatives whereas decacates and liquid paraffin are stool softeners. Liquid paraffin may cause deficiency of fat soluble vitamins. Chronic diarrhea and weight loss in a CF are due to malabsorption, secondary to pancreatic insufficiency, and can be corrected by pancreatic enzyme supplementation. Triple drug therapy for Helicobacter pyroli includes clarithromycin, amoxicillin, and PPIs. Most common adverse effect of 
prostaglandin analogs is diarrhea and colic abdominal pain famotidin is most potent h2 blocker all h2 blockers except famotidin inhibits the gastric first pass metabolism of ethanol acid suppressing agent can result in tolerance and rebound hyperacidity due to secondary hypergastrinemia simetidin is the least potent h2 blocker all these are previous years one liners if you like this video please do watch like share and subscribe thank you